Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, good morning. Nick Collier here, and uh, you know, it's been a year since I have actually worked on this project, but uh, I'm at a kind of a slow point right now. It's between Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know, it's always kind of slow. So uh, I'm back to doing fun things. We're going to pick this back up and run with it for about, oh, however long we can until the next job comes in. So the, the next part of this process is building a little square tab with four holes in it so that I can weld it to the, to the, uh, the uh, axle and also weld it to, uh, let's see, the... Uh, well, one tab to the axle and one tab to the to the end of the uh, of the arch of the of the support bar, so that I can unbolt the the axle and get it out of there. So we're gonna make uh, how many days we're we gonna make? We're gonna make twelve of these and drill four holes in each of them. So follow along. We're gonna have some drilling fun today. Okay, so we've got 10 of these uh, cut out. Uh, the corners are smoothed off. Everything's kind of ready to go here. Um, we're gonna drop one of them in the vise. And uh, we gotta drop them in the right way. Yep. And we'll pull it in, and we're gonna just kind of eyeball it up against this inside edge right here. We're not looking at super accurate. I mean, you know, five thousandths, I think we're, everybody can be happy at that. And it looks like uh, we're a bit out. So I think I'm going to bring it back. I'm seeing that is looking pretty good. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and, and again, we're going to eyeball it. It's not that big a deal, but we may as well get it close. Uh, I think what we're going to do is bring it in right to that point there. And I need some glasses for this. Just a little bit. We're going to bring that point in and bring that one in. That looks good. And we're catching this surface here. Now we'll come in 350. Let's, uh, ouch. Three fifty right there, and then we'll come out to this edge here. Eyeball that in. There we go, and bring that one in. 350 to 350 six eight fifty lock it in place oh no we're not gonna lock that what am I doing we're gonna lock our Gibbs that changed it a bit 
Okay. And that has us pretty well centered. Uh, let me just put a mark on it and see what it looks like. That's going to be a little bit wide. So let's take it to 300. Yep. All right. Take our pointer out. Put our drill bit back in. And let's drill our first hole. Drop a screw in there and make sure it's going to fit. It's going to fit, but just barely. I don't like that. All right, maybe it just needs to be... Maybe that burr is kind of holding things up. Let's see if we can just kind of deburr it. It's still tight. So we're going to take it to a drill bit just one size bigger. Okay, back in, line it up with that inside edge. Drill it. Now, oh, how's that screw going to fit? Nice. And then we're just going to basically flip this. Do the same thing. Flip it again, and I believe it's going to come out the same. Take a measure and make sure. Three hundred. All right. And that has our four hole pattern.
Okay, so we've got our base uh, piece assembled. Well, not assembled, but welded together somewhat. Now what we need to do is make two more pieces just like it. So uh, I've come in and I've cut a couple of pieces. Oh, yeah, I still have to cut this one. And then we have to go in and uh, put the groove in one of them and then weld the the um, disc onto the other one like about that so um we're gonna and and we didn't have enough material out of all that material we didn't have enough so i had to bend a, a second one and uh, uh, just a little shorty here because we were just one piece short so uh, we'll do that and uh We'll take them over to the saw and cut, cut them to length and then put them in the mill and mill out that slot on the one side. And that should uh, take care of um, some of today. Okay, we'll be back. All right, well, so, okay, so we've got this. We're, we've welded this piece to the end just to test it and see if it would work. And it does. This thing slides in nice and smooth. It goes all the way, can I get it? Yeah. It goes all the way to the end where the bolt can't go any further, and that's a nice slide fit. So this will go from there all the way out to there. That'll give us, what, three inches times three. That's nine inches. So uh, that's a pretty good diameter. What we need to do is come in, we're making the other two of this series what happened um, I've got the other one of these sitting around somewhere so uh, what we need to do is come in and cut this this groove and uh, we'll just put it on the mill and and mill a, a slot down the ends of both of those and I'll go find my other piece oh here it is right here yeah good okay so that'll give us the slots that we need then the other side doesn't need a slot it's just uh it'll just take a the the key that to go that direction so uh let's go ahead and uh go over to the mill okay so we've got our piece in we've got our mill bit lined up we're gonna make two passes one in come over uh probably about a hundred thou and come back so and this is you know pretty rough so we're not really worried about accurate and we want to definitely get it close let's try that Okay, so we've got our three segments. We've got a basic line laid out in ink. And we're going to come in and lay our pieces in hopefully some kind of order that's going to be useful. There's one, which is the other one. The other one goes this way. to there. Yes. All right, so the next little welding part of our project here is uh, getting these welded to the to the backings. And uh, Gonna go in and tack in all of our uh, 
all of our connection joints and get this thing kind of laid out so that it's uh, it's all in one position and uh, hopefully correct position and then uh, we'll come in and put our wheels and motors in place and get that connection hooked up and get a, get it in all tacked and then uh, probably by the end of that day that'll be enough but it's possible we may go back and weld everything up but uh, for now we're just tacking and we've gotten uh, this connection joint set up and ready to go so we're going to just throw a couple of tacks in on this top plate and the bottom plate and get them to kind of hold in place So we got this one, now we want to come over to this one and uh, see if we can get that to lay in there correctly. So we're going to take this apart just for a second, take the bolt out. this thing down. Let's see, we need a couple more pieces of wood. Alright, this is going to go to here. but we need to grind this in a more in an arc so that we have a, a decent uh, connection so we'll take this apart and do that and grind that well actually let's mark it first turn off the welder okay so it needs to go like this something about no, maybe not that far Something about like that. I'd say that was it. All right, we're going to take this apart. Okay, so we've got ourselves a second reasonable connection there. Um, it looks pretty good to me. So we'll come in, just put a couple of tacks on that, and we'll have that junction all set up.
the number three. Uh, and number three I've pre-welded all the way and now I got to cut it all back off again. But it's going to be okay. Let's swing down to number three and you'll be able to see it. Well, actually, you can't see it from there, which is not a bad thing, but number three is sits at a bit of an angle like this, rather than flat with the plane. So I want to grind this back off again and rotate everything back up to where it belongs and get everything kind of squared up. So uh, we're going to uh, take that over to the uh, grinder and cut that off and do it again. Okay, so we got it up on blocks so we can put the wheels in and the wheels are going to clear the table. And uh, we've got to also put the motors in. So there's three motors. Here's a few spacers. And the wheels. So, uh, oh yeah, we need the axles. I think they're right here, aren't they? Here's one. There's another one. Okay, so one axle goes through. One motor goes on this side. And I believe, yes, we come in here like this. Now that looks pretty centered. So then all we do is weld the axle to the frame and then we have, or you know, we'll just tack it to the frame and then we can adjust it and move it around until it fits just right. But for the moment, it looks like it fits pretty good. But what I want to do is I want to put a, a second plate on the axle and weld the plate to that so that this can be unbolted and taken apart afterwards. Otherwise, you know, of course the axle just stays there. So we're going to go over and get a couple of screws to uh, screw this to the plate or to the axle and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Alright, so we've got some 1024 bolts and nuts. Pull that axle. And 
put our bolts and nuts in place. thread. Okay, it's not 1024, it's something different. Let's see if maybe there's some others in the bottom here. Ah, 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 there, there we are, yeah. Sure enough. Alright, that ought to give us a good start. There we go, all the way on, and we really only need two of them, so uh, we'll just put two on. Okay, shaft back in wheel. There we go. Motor back in shaft. And add that one little piece and nothing fits. Of course. All right. So we maybe will put this back in the lathe, take off you know the thickness of this piece of material here and uh, and that'll give us a little bit more room to slide that in let's see do we need to yeah we need to take a little bit more off of the other end too Might be easier just to trim off the uh, the pipe. Let's give that a try. Okay, axle back in. off this edge here.
Looks pretty good. So, let's see if we can find a spacer. That looks pretty good. There's one. Okay, well that's enough for today. Uh, I think we made a hell of a lot of headway here. Uh, we got to come back in and weld up all these joints, but uh, I want to make sure the wheels are square in both directions uh, before I go, uh, you know, getting anything permanent. So um, we uh, will be back uh, maybe tomorrow. Okay.